So here we have part four of the problem, where the plane is given in a different way. It's given as a Cartesian equation. 4x1 minus 3x2 plus 6x3 equals 12, where we're told that the general vector x in three-dimensional space, r3, is x1, x2, x3. We have to be prepared that sometimes three-dimensional space is described in terms of x, y, and z, and sometimes in terms of x1, x2, x3 as here. So this is, again, a plane. It's a one linear equation in x1, x2, x3 that does define a plane, just as if we removed one of these variables, an equation like 4x1 minus 3x2 equals 12 represents a line in the plane. So does this kind of equation determine a plane in three-dimensional space? It's a very basic and important ingredient in linear algebra. But we're asked to find the parametric or a parametric vector form for the plane. Probably we should emphasize that a parametric vector form is in general not unique. There are lots of choices, so your answer and your neighbor's answer may very well be different. All right, so here the axes would properly be labeled x1, x2, and x3. And you might ask, how would we represent such a plane? Well, the strategy would be to look at it the same way you look at a line in the plane. A way of drawing a line in a plane is to find the x and y intercepts. So similarly, if we want to know where this plane meets the x1 axis, we could set x2 and x3 equal to 0. If we do that, then x1 is equal to 3. So if this is 3 here, then we know that the plane is going through that point on the x1 axis. Similarly, if we set x1 and x3 equal to 0, we see that the x2 coordinate would have to be minus 4, be over here somewhere. Right. And the plane would therefore go through that point. That would be the x2 intercept. And similarly, to find the x3 intercept, we would set x1 and x2 equal to 0, giving x3 equals 2. All right, so it's a plane that goes through uh, those uh, points. Maybe we could represent it with a little triangle connecting those three points on the three axes. It's that plane that's determined by that triangle, but of course it extends beyond the plane. It's actually like an extended sheet of paper. Okay, so what do we have to do in order to find a parametric vector equation? We have to find, first of all, a point on the plane and two direction vectors. So a point on the plane is, well, the simplest one is the first one that we chose, perhaps, 3, 0, 0. That is a point on the plane because it satisfies the equation. What about direction vectors? Well, for direction vectors, we really need two other points. So two other points are, Well, the next one that we got was 0 minus 4, 0, and 0, 0, 2. So maybe we could give those uh, some names. We could call this one, so let's set uh, A equal to 3, 0, 0, B equal to 0 minus 4, 0, and C equal to 0, 0, 2. Then direction vectors for the plane are direction vectors are, well, one of them would be, for example, these, first of all, these points are A, B, and C. So some direction vectors would be the vector AC and the vector AB, for example. AB. AB would be the difference between the coordinate vectors of B and A. 
which we know how to do by now. We take the coordinate vector for B and subtract the coordinate vector for A, giving us all together minus 3, minus 4, 0. So that's the vector that describes going from A to B. And another one is, say, A, C. And that's obtained by taking the coordinate vector of C, which is 0, 0, 2, and subtracting the coordinate vector for A, which is 3, 0, 0, for a total of minus 3, 0, and 2. So we have all the ingredients. We have a point on the plane, let's say this point A. And we have two direction vectors, AB and AC. So we can write down the parametric form. So the parametric equation is x equals, first we want to get to that uh, point, so we'll write down its coordinate vector. All right, so first we get to the uh, point A, and then we add a multiple of AB, which is minus 3, minus 4, 0, and another multiple of AC, which is minus 3, 0, 2. So if you plug in different values of lambda and mu into this equation, you're going to get different points which lie on the plane. So this is a parametric vector form for the plane from the Cartesian form. So we've shown how to go from the Cartesian form to the parametric form.